Its original incarnation was the uh, Troutbrook Brew Pub and Restaurant. Um, there was a production brewery in addition to uh, the actual brew pub itself. And uh, the way the law used to be in Connecticut, you could be one or the other. So they actually had a, a demising wall between the brewery and the brew pub. And then a few years uh, went by and they decided to actually distribute the beer uh, out to the general public. Uh, my group took it over um, and we moved it from its original location, which was down in Hartford, uh, in an area in Hartford which was a little bit rough. Um, and we moved it to this facility. Um, this facility is probably about five times the size and it really gives us the ability to scale the business, uh, you know, turn it into a real production brewery. Also have a location where people can come in, visit and feel part of the brewery. Uh, the Reverend Thomas Hooker was actually the founder of Hartford. Um, he actually left Massachusetts and came down to Hartford uh, with his flock, so to speak, uh, to get away from religious persecution and be able to do things the, the way that they wanted. Uh, because the company was founded in Hartford, they decided to actually uh, name the brewery after the founder of Hartford. Um, I'm right now up on our, uh, our brew house. It's a 20 barrel brew house, which means we can brew approximately, probably about 600 gallons of beer at a time. Uh, this is our mash tun, and this is our brew kettle. Uh, these are our condi conditioning and fermentation tanks. Um, this is our bright tank, and uh, four 52 barrel uh, fermenters, uh, con conical in shape. Essentially what happens is after we uh, brew the beer, we run it through a series of heat exchangers, we put the, uh, the wort into our, uh, into our fermentation tanks. Typically, it's two brews on this system will fill up one 52-barrel fermenter. It's approximately 1,500 to 1,600 gallons. Um, after two weeks to three months, we'll take that, uh, that uh, beer out, uh, run it through our filtration system, and into our bright tank, where we can further condition it, um, or run it from here into our bottling line. Um, it's made up of a couple different components. There's an onload table down here, which is where we put all of the, uh, the empty bottles on. It comes through what's called a bottle pusher, which actually pushes the bottles through this, uh, through this conveyor system uh, through a rinser. The bottles get turned upside down, where we shoot in a sanitizing and rinsing mix. Uh, the bottles remain upside down for a little while to drain all the solution out. They come right back uh, upright. They come around this conveyor system and into our filler. Our filler is a 12 head purser line. Essentially what happens here is bottles go in this end. The bottles are raised up on a fill tube. The bottles are evacuated with uh, CO2, filled with beer, brought around here, let off of the filler, and then go through a capper. We have a three head capper which caps all the bottles. Then they continue down the line. We can check for fill heights through what's called a candle box. They go through a rinser to take any kind of excess beer off the bottles and then down into the labeler where they're labeled and then onto our sorting table where we take the bottles off and put them right into cases. The, the beers here really are um, designed to be true to style and Unlike many breweries in the country, we brew both ales and lagers. Um, we, our lightest offering is a blonde ale, and uh, you know we run right through to our Liberator Doppelbach, which is a very strong German-style lager that's you know won, won a lot of awards for the brewery. What, one of the things that we want to do is actually, in the state of Connecticut, when, when we got involved with this project, 
we looked at other states like Maine and Vermont, you know, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and we saw some great local brands with huge support uh, from, the, from the local markets. And we look in Connecticut, and we've got some great beers here, but nobody's really kind of risen to the top. Uh, one of the things that we'd like to do is be thought of as Connecticut's beer. Creating that bond with the consumer to kind of float to the top as Connecticut's brand. I mean, we're, we're very excited about that, and we think Connecticut is overdue.